Hey, did they fix the messages thing? It says there's actually messages showing up. That's amazing. Whoa. There we go. What's up, everyone? What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. Oh my god, love your vids. Thank you so much. Hi, hello. Guys, I can't say your name. It's The chat moves so quick. You're the best. Thanks, man. Adrian. Steven. Banter Squad. What's up, buddy? C to the H. King. I can't. Sam. Dale. Scrubbish, of course. Mr. Derp. D-D-O. One touch, man. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the stream. Hello, Sweden. Hello from Canada. It's very rare for you to be here, Hyper Games. Well, that sucks. Can I tell you a joke? Sure. What's the joke? I don't... Okay. Hi, you the best. Thanks, man. Shut up from Asia. What's up, Asia? Asia's a big place. What's shaking bacon? You, uh... What's what's that song? What's the, the bacon... Making bacon pancakes. That's it. My girlfriend knows all the memes. I'm not. I'm not good with that stuff. How am I today? I'm feeling good. I might I might cough a few times. My my throat's kind of like messed up still a little bit, but you know what? Like if it happens, I'm sorry. It might it might happen a little bit where I cough a few times, stuff like that. I might sniffle a little bit, but uh, I am feeling a lot better now from before. Um, I was feeling pretty terrible the other day. Okay, well this is just a, a blank platform. I don't know what's what's going on here. So we made um last last week. Or last time I streamed, which was I guess a couple weeks ago, I made this, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. It, it works really well, and I want to make something similar, but a helicopter, because eventually I want to have like an RC airport with like a few different RC planes all in the same spot. But like this one, it flies pretty good. But I want to make the helicopter. Um, I want to do it the same way I did my realistic helicopter. So I'll show you that in a sec. Which is, can I can I turn? Okay, here we go. This is good. That's good. Nice, nice landing. Right? Is there a hole in the bottom of this? Oh no, okay. Right. Perfect. 10 out of 10 landing. So anyway, so I want to make something similar to that. We're going to use the same base again because um, that base is kind of useful. It's got the WASD converter on it. But we're going to need to modify that base a lot. Um... Because I wanna I wanna do this. So the realistic helicopter. But my streams are usually two to three hours. Yeah, give or take. Um so here's the realistic helicopter. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. It doesn't look realistic, that's not the point. Um but the point of this helicopter with all this circuitry and stuff is the fact that if you turn it on, I, I still can't go up. Like I still no matter what I press, I can't move until the rotor spins up to speed, and there we go, and now I can actually, now it activates the thrusters, right? So that's, that was the point of the realistic helicopter, is it uses, um, this little guy. So you can see there's four sensors there, it's actually sensing the speed of rotation, and, and that triggers some stuff in the back here, and it does some stuff, and long story short, it, uh, it won't fly unless it spins really fast. So that's the idea. We're gonna use some mods, we're gonna use the polygon mod pack. And we're going to use the, um, uh, the the regular mod pack just for again for the mini thrusters because we are going to make this small and for the uh, the super heavy blocks here in case we need the weighted blocks. So that's the plan. Uh, don't think we need half these controls. So we'll get rid of those. Get rid of these. Um, you know, let's just let's just strip out all these controls for now. Okay. The WASD that that's really all we're going to keep for now. A, D, and then we'll have roll, and then I don't know what this stuff is. One of these will turn it on, one of them will probably go up. Let's get rid of those for now, we don't need them. Right, and then we can hook in that to there. Okay, so let's let's try and build something. It's been a long time. What's up, Tristan? Welcome to the stream. Will it get a gyro, though? No. I'm not going to put a gyro on it, because... I, I, I want it to be able to tilt like a real helicopter does like that that realistic helicopter doesn't have a gyro on it So we don't I don't think I need it. Hold on. Can you pass me some Kleenex? The box there Thank you Just so I don't want to thank you 
Ah. Oh. Ah. I was like dying of the plague for two weeks, guys. Like it was pretty bad. Like most sick I've ever been in my entire life. So it was it was really really bad. But anyways, um, we're back now. We're alive. We're doing good. So no, oh, I just hit my mouse there. Okay, so I want to make. I want to do uh, some some testing first because I really don't know how it's gonna go. Uh, holy cow, 50 Swedish. Is that Swedish crones? I can never remember what SEK is. But hi, Con. It's a donation of weird Swedish money from me. Will you be doing another AI challenge for us? I missed the first one. I really want to try it. Yeah, I know. Everyone keeps asking about the AI challenge. I got to get that video out. Um, I was kind of dead for two weeks, so I didn't really do anything. But I'm getting back into it now. I also have uh, Stationers again. So, you know, been playing some Stationers. They added the hunger mechanic to the game. I also realized I don't have my Streamlabs open, so that's not going to show up on stream because I'm an idiot. So let's just uh, open up Streamlabs. I don't want to download beta. I just want to log in. Can I? Can I? Thank you. Thank you. This is. I am con gaming. Yeah. No, I. Thank you. Okay. There we go. So now your donations will show up on stream. That was my bad. My bad. I forgot. I forgot to have Streamlabs open. Uh, Beastie J just subscribed. Donated super chat. Just subscribe. There you go. Sorry guys. All your subscriptions now will show up on stream. That was my bad. Uh, how long will the stream be? Well, the stream will be until I, uh, until I finish it. So that, that'll be, that'll be that. But anyways, um, so we're gonna, we're gonna do some stuff here. So we're gonna make the mechanism first. I really don't know how, how big I want to make this helicopter. Um, I guess, like, well, what's the cargo plane? The cargo plane's what? Is it three wide, I think, right? Or is it five wide? No, it's three wide, right? No, five wide. Five wide. So, I mean, probably, probably, um, a similar size to that. Maybe a little smaller. Maybe three wide. So, let's, let's try three wide. And then we'll go up. I'm not really too worried about making the, uh, hundred, holy cow, hundred Norwegian crones. Is that, is that Norwegian crones? Get well soon, Joe Smith says. Uh, get well soon. Can't let the Swede get the high court. Thanks so much for your donation, Joe. Really appreciate it. I really need to start learning currencies. I'm terrible with currencies. I just see NEK, SEK, and I think it's, it's it's crones, right? Isn't that what it's called? I think it's called crones or crowns, maybe? I really don't know. I hope I get it right, but thank you so much for your donation. Really appreciate that. Um, Alright, so we're just gonna we're gonna put, like, the rotor majumder guy here. Now it's showing up on stream, right? Did it show up? Did it show up? It should show up. Yeah, okay, it did. Oh man, I'm terrible. Look at my look at my terrible window. Hold on, hold on. I gotta fix that. You can't even read the message anymore. That's so stupid. Hold on. Let me let me. I'm I'm good at streaming, guys. I'm so good. I'm so pro. Okay, let's just let's make it like super sized. Okay, I I don't know if that's gonna make anything. If that makes it better. I don't know, we'll find out. I really need to play around with that stuff and make custom emotes and all that jazz. Um, right, but anyways, let's build a helicopter. So we're gonna just put uh, this guy here like this and uh, we'll put some thrusters like this so we can rotate that. Right, just like this and then like that. And then... Something like that. Right, I forgot that's a free floating that's a free floating bearing. Okay, good. Um, so we're gonna need we'll just put this on a controller for now. You know what? I wanna test it because we're gonna do all the circuitry off the helicopter, because the circuitry to spin fast to detect the spin speed. It's pretty simple circuitry. Really all we're doing is uh, we're tricking the game. Well not really tricking the game, but we're we're you're spinning faster than the game can calculate one tick. That's how it works. So as long as these spin faster then a single tick is generated. That's how uh, that's how the game works. And holy cow, 200 Swedish crones! You really want to do this, Norwegian person? Are you guys you guys in a bidding war now? Is that is that like you guys just gonna bid each other off? I mean, if you if you really want to go nuts, but uh, I, I I don't feel like you have to donate. But I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for the donations. It's really really nice of you guys. Uh, yeah, no, and that'll be, that'll be good. So that's one, two, three, four, I don't know, five. Is that big enough? 
That seems a little big. That looks pretty good. But I think that's... I think, I think that's good size. I don't really want to do... This yap is going to bother me. I should probably do, like, a square piece in the middle here, shouldn't I? Like, like this. Yeah, that, that would look better, wouldn't it? Alright, and then we'll grab this. You guys are crazy. Hi, Con. What is your favorite doggo bread? What's doggo bread? I'm, I'm confused. Is that, like, is that, like, bread for dogs or something? Or is it, like, I'm, what, I've, I've never heard of doggo bread. Or do you mean like type of bread? I, I like like I, I'm I'm confused. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's just turn these bad boys on. We'll just you know what? Let's put an OR gate down for that because that'll be the turn on OR gate. Uh, this guy here. We'll just make you green, right? And. Uh, can we can we do that okay and then we should just be able to put this on a switch and uh so my plan is i know a lot of people are like well why are you making an rc helicopter you made an rc plane and my plan is really simple i want to make an rc helicopter well that spins really fast okay um but i made the rc plane and then i want to make an rc helicopter um, because what you can then do, because I know a lot of people are saying, well, it's hard to see the plane, and I agree, I want to eventually make, like, an actual RC airport with, like, a mini airport, and I'll make it fly and have a gyro in it so it'll keep itself stable, and that way you can get height above the ground, right? The same way the assault hovercraft does. But what you can do, which I had just realized the other day, which I hadn't even tried before, was if you do something like this, for example, right, and let's say we've got, you know, three RC glitches set up here, like this, so we can have three vehicles that are all attached to the same platform. So we can have one set of controls on this platform. And here's the cool thing. I never knew this was a thing. Someone in the chat's probably gonna be like, oh, yeah, this is a, you should have known this. But let's say we have one set of controls for three different RC vehicles. I didn't realize you can go like this and see all three of them are still attached. So as long as we don't change the base creation, if we change the base creation, see, then it breaks all three of them. But we can disconnect as many different remote control glitches as we want all at the same time without causing any issues. So I want to make uh, a sort of a mini airport that has, um, you know, all the RC glitches all in the same, the same spot. And just one set of controls that you can then swap between them all. Another super chat. 20 Norwegian Crows. Now, nah, good to see you. Sponsor Con. Thanks, Joe Smith. Really appreciate you guys and your, your bidding war. It's really awesome. All right, so let's... Uh, It's probably still spinning too quick. I want these rotors bigger, too. They don't look that cool. They need to be larger. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, can we can we slow down? I still think they spin just a little bit too fast. Maybe. Who knows? Um, bigger? Nah, because then bigger, you need a bigger helicopter. You know, okay, let's just do the sensor setup now. So I'm going to try this with one sensor, but I don't know if it's going to work or not. Probably need two. Uh, do I need two? Should I just do it with two? I think we'll, I think we're going to do it with, with two. You know what? I think that's, I think that's what we're going to do. Because if I do... Right? Is that... Think. Maybe. Maybe maybe four. Okay, let's try with two. And then we're gonna need a lot of space for it. So we're just gonna we're gonna bring all this, extend this out at the back. I don't know how much space we're gonna need exactly, but we'll find out. Okay, so we're gonna have those two connected up to uh, some or gates here. And then uh, these guys are actually just connected to a memory bit. If I can do this right. So the idea being, if it spins fast enough, both of these memory bits will be on at the same time, which basically says we're spinning fast enough to actually do stuff. 
that's the idea. Um, let's just move, you know, let's put, put this switch back here. There we go. Oh, right. I, I guess I need, I need a reset switch. That would be, that would be useful. Oh, that's not gonna hold on that's not gonna work because they're both on opposite that's right i need a key and there's no key on this and i need a key because right now see this one's sensing this bar while that one's sensing that bar which is not what you want you want to you need a, a single bar that sticks down and only triggers the sensor every half rotation unless we do it with one maybe we can do it with one Never tried it with one though. The the realistic helicopter I did uses four. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I don't know, we'll try it. Alright, so here's what we gotta do. Uh, so we're gonna put this to an or gate here. I, I, I don't know if this is actually gonna work or not with one. We'll try it with one. If not, I'm gonna have to redesign it and actually put a key on it. But hopefully we can do this with one. So that's gonna trigger that. And then we need to put an interrupt timer on this guy. And it needs to interrupt that timer. So uh, just something like this. I don't know how long of an interrupt timer we'll need. The other one was really long. And then this goes like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. So this is a basic, your basic interrupt timer mechanism, and then this flips back to there. Okay, so see how that's always on? And then if we turn that off. It still has way too much speed. This is why we need a key. Because it's sensing every every individual one of those four. And it's just too many of them. It's too many of them for it to for it to pick up on. That's the problem. Oh, actually, hold on. You know what? We can actually do this. We can do this even smarter. Let's just put this on color mode. And then if we put that on color mode, let's say black, we can have one of these thrusters is black, and then the rest of these can all just be like a dark gray color. There we go, and it should only pick up the one black thruster when it passes around. And then that'll fix that issue, right? So see, it's not up to speed yet. It's still not going to do it. Now the question is, do I need a longer timer? Oh, it's not even... That black's not enough to trigger it. Well, that's a problem. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We want this to be our output. That's the, that's the goal. This is our output gate. So when I did this on the realistic helicopter, I'll show you guys really quick, just so you guys can understand that I'm not completely, completely mental. And I, I do actually know slightly a little bit about what I'm doing. Um, so this is how the realistic helicopter did it, right? So it's got, if we, uh, we'll just disconnect this whole plate. Actually, we can just get this out here. If I can get in there. There we go. Okay. So these are, these are your rotor tying guy, majumder, whatever's. Right, so we can just put these over here. Let's just get these out of the way. Get out of the way. Right, so here's the spinning... The spinning disc, right? And as this spins, if we turn it on, can we... Uh, oh, no, that's right. I removed this stuff. But as it spins, I'll hit it with a hammer. Just because it is free spinning. So you can see... See, there's that. That's the key. And it's basically reading that gap between those two tines. And every time it passes that gap, that's when it... it recognizes the signal 
So I'm trying to duplicate that. But that green light's not... You know, we'll figure it out. We'll get it. Let's delete that. Colin, do you know what... How to make a subtractor? Like, you mean like a binary subtractor? You can... I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like an adder, but not... Um, you can look up the circuit diagrams for all that if you want. Like an adder uses an XOR and an org, an XOR and an AND gate, sorry, and then a subtractor uses the same thing but in the opposite direction. There's 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 tons of circuit diagrams online for that actually if you just look it up. So depending on how many you want, just look up like a a two bit or four bit binary adder slash subtractor, and then you'll see if that's what you're talking about. Um, yeah. See, it flicks, but it's not its not getting constant because it's still making it to the end. It's fine. Should just be able to paint this. Okay, so paint that. Paint that. So now the two thrusters will trigger. Almost there. So it's constant now. So that's good. So it is it is fast enough to do the interrupt timer there. And now if we let off, you'll see it starts to flicker. Which is basically losing thrust. But see, it's not interrupting there. Which I wanted to interrupt at super slow speeds. <clears throat> It'll eventually interrupt... But then again, it, it might not even if it lands with the the color sensor directly. Like if if it landed with this directly on that, it would give you thrust forever. If I if I can do this, Let's see if I can spin this. That's why the other one was good with four, because it could never land on all four of them at the same time, right? See, like, look, if we if we just spin this slightly, come on, get there. Right, so see that's on, on the black, so now it's always on, even though it's not spinning. Although we could fix that with an AND gate condition and just say it has to be spinning, plus this has to be lit for it to work. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ugh, it needs more. See, that's, that's what I'm saying, that's, that's the problem with this whole... There we go. That's the problem with this whole setup. Is with more sensors, it'll work better. Yeah. Okay. So we're, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna expand this, guys. We're gonna we're gonna do it with four sensors. And then we just need to duplicate that same mechanism, but with four sensors, all four of them on color mode black. And that way, no matter what, there's always at least two sensors that aren't active. And, uh, and hopefully that'll do something. Should work. Just make it analog. The design me and Brent made is reliable and small. Analog? Analog. How did you do an analog speed detection you came up with a solution for my gyros that's good was it was your solution not using gyros because that was my solution at the end of the day I was like you know what? I'm just not gonna use gyros and then everything works out so much better we're gonna stitch that together And then stitch that over to there. Right.
See, I don't... Hmm. Hmm. Ugh. My nose. See, I don't... I don't like how that... Huh. What's with the silence? Sorry, I'm just I'm just thinking, guys. I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to I'm trying to think about stuff. Add weights to the end to add momentum. What am I drinking? Uh, I'm drinking a, an energy drink because I'm I'm tired. I am a little tired. Use metal blocks. You make a speedometer on two bearings, sense the rotation, and hook up the sensor to a single tick pulse gen, and then that to a timer. When the tick gen fires, it moves the bar up, and when the timer fires, it moves down. So sensor goes to controller that goes right one degree loop and then also goes to a delayed on another controller on one degree left one degree loop. Okay. But then, okay, okay. I, I think I know what you're saying. But then wouldn't it, wouldn't it never... Okay, well, hold on, let's try that. So here's, here's my sensor, which is, um, just terrible. Okay. So here's my sensor hooked into a controller. That's what you're saying. Hence analog. Okay. And then, uh, here's my, here's my bearing. So you're saying I hook this into this on a one degree loop and then this goes to a one tick pulse that generates like as well is that, is that what you're saying like so so this goes to like this is this is this what you're saying like that and then this one goes to that one which goes the other way is this is this what I, am I doing it right? Am I am I doing am I doing life right here? I feel like someone's you guys. I'm either making like Brent just die in his chair right now, or or possibly Blue. They're probably just freaking out. They're like, oh my god, what are you doing? Okay, so like that, right? And then like this. That doesn't that doesn't do anything. Uh huh. This is this is not. Uh huh. Just output to timer to second controller. Oh okay 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 gotcha. But this is still not. Oh it is moving. Oh look at that it moves ever so slightly. Okay. That moves extremely slowly. Gotcha. So just like this, okay. How much of a delay? Like a one tick delay? But like this thing, this thing. Maybe I need more, okay, hold on, I got an idea. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm confused, but now. I'm either one degree and time perfect edited in blueprint or like 10 degrees. Hey, Khan, just tuned in. Thanks for coming by to film. Uh, the timer on about 20 ticks or so. Changing time equals more sensitive. Too many sensors. Okay, yeah, no, I, I yeah. should I have, so should it just be one sensor reading one point? Is that the idea? Is that, is that the idea? And then we can put this on an AND gate so it has to be on for it to work. Uh, 
But now it's not reading any points. Uh huh. Hmm. See, this is why this is why I like my digital my digital setup. Let's take this off color mode. But like, see, this doesn't even move. Okay, 20 ticks though. You said 20 ticks, right? But that doesn't, it doesn't, like... Okay, so it's like, it's moving, but it all, it's always gonna come back. It's never gonna... 45 ticks. Trash can. What? It, what? What? Where do I come from? I'm from Canada. You just want a shout out. What's up, Henry Edge? Welcome to the stream. I'm so confused by how this helps me. See, I like I liked my digital way because my digital way was was a good minimum speed detector. This is all like doing some weird stuff, but it's never like it's not gonna. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. I really don't. I don't understand. Notice me. What's up, bird brains? Am I gonna make a gyro? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put a gyro in this one because I don't think, I don't think I need it. What the heck am I trying to do? I'm trying to make something that senses the speed rotation of that the same way this does. But this one's all digital. It's 100% digital. So this one, like, if you turn it on, it takes a while, and then once it gets up to speed then boom it turns on and actually gives you lift All right so now you could actually fly it but that's digital 199 super chat which is pokemon king 364 it's in german i don't i don't know what it is what it says i'm afraid to say it because it could be something super offensive and then i i just feel really bad See, I don't know. Ugh, I don't know what I, what I, what I, 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 ugh. Just make it for him. Time per frame in the blueprint makes controller work faster. Yeah, but see now, okay, now I gotta get into blueprint editing. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna go. We're gonna go do a digital, guys. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go digital. We live in the digital world. Okay, so we're just gonna we're gonna do everything digital. It's fine. Uh, actually, I do still want that angate there. And all we need to do is just interrupt stuff. It's easy mode. Easy, easy, easy mode. New sponsor. Welcome, Revictin, to the stream. That's a name I've seen around a lot. Thank you so much for sponsoring the channel. Really appreciate it. Um, okay. We're gonna we're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this digitally. I don't care. I know you guys are all gonna be like, oh, uh, he's going to do it digital, and it should he should do it analog because it would take up less space and you just, just you know what you know what i don't i don't care i don't care you know what we're doing it digital okay because like that's how i know how to do it and it's gonna work maybe probably not we're gonna pretend like it will meanwhile blue flame and brent are, are busy conspiring on how to take over my channel are those did those sensors just decide to not work anymore is that or do i not have anything that's black I mean, maybe that's the problem. Cool. That worked. There we go. Right. Good. Okay, so we're gonna do it with- we're gonna do it digitally, and, uh, digitally is really simple. 
It's basically just all four of these have to be active at the same time before it'll activate, which means the thing has to be spinning fast enough so that the sensors don't get interrupted. That's the idea behind a digital setup. Easier for me to do because I am a pleb, and so I do plebby things because I'm a pleb. Okay? Just thought we'd, thought we'd clear that one up really quickly before anyone asks... Is he your pleb? Yes. The answer is 100% yes. He is a pleb. Okay. You guys always think I'm smart. Really, I'm just a pleb. Sick. So now if all four of those are lit up, it'll do something. That's the idea. Just create the analog system in your own world, blend, then just upload. Yeah, you know, if you want to create the analog system, I'll spot it, because I'm a little confused. I, I would... I wouldn't mind taking a look at how it works, but I if I feel like you're saying you blueprint edit, right? So you gotta you gotta change stuff. But see, that's interesting. Why is that pulse shutting off? This is like literally the most complicated part of the whole build though. After this everything's easy mode because all we're gonna do We just got to get this to actually spin and sense stuff and then everything after that is just gravy It's just uh, it's just a matter of making a helicopter and putting some thrusters on it Something like that Yep, yeah, I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make it digital. So. Now the super chat. You guys and your, your German, you guys are having this whole German conversation in super chats. I honestly don't speak German, so I'm, I'm kind of concerned. But thank you so much for the donation anyways. But uh, yeah, I, I'm concerned about reading messages in other languages. Because like, I don't, I don't, I don't speak as a German. I think it's German. You said something about sausages? It says, it says, oh no, so, I don't know what that is. Please do a gyro? But it doesn't need a gyro, though. It's gonna be like, a gyro would have to be so small to fit in this, too. Because this is gonna be, like, really small. I also realized I made this too tall already. I want this shorter. I want it. I want to make it shorter. Okay, so let's just let's just slap this up here. That's that's good. Hopefully, I can make this small enough. I think I can. Oh, right. Okay, cool. This is, a, uh, yeah, a little bit, a little too much space. What? What? Did I not? Are you guys? Oh, okay, it's upside down. I was just like, what the heck is going on? Why is that so weird? Okay, there we go. You Fortnite? Wait, what? I... I... Okay, I'm not gonna lie guys. I've played Fortnite. Okay, I've played it. I have played Fortnite. I have played Fortnite and I'm not really a fan. 
I, I understand everyone's all like, yay, Fortnite, yay, Fortnite's better than PUBG. I just, I don't, I just don't like it. I'm just, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just not a fan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ruining everyone's day by not being a fan of Fortnite. Seriously, though, I just, I don't understand the appeal to it. I really don't. It's like, like, PUBG is, like, very much, you know, strategy heavy. And Fortnite is like, I have guided rockets, and I'm going to fly around the map, and then ride on top of my rockets, and then fly them into you, and I just don't understand what the, what the appeal is. But, that's just me. I am but a simple pleb. So, you know, there's that. I don't know, five maybe? Maybe more? Might be able to get away with just five. Whoops. This is my super elaborate digital clock, which doesn't need to be this elaborate, but it's going to be. Yo. Scrapman messaged me, yo. I'm gonna reply with, yo. I'm streaming, yo. I don't know what Scrapman wants. Probably something. Khan in Swedish is your name is Khan, like can. Yeah, no, I know. It's it's like that for a bunch of different uh, languages, actually. For some reason. I didn't really, honestly, I picked my name like a long, long time ago when I was like 12. And it's just always sort of, always sort of stuck with me. And now I've realized that, like, I can't change my name, so. Just the way it is, man. Alright, so this is, like, my digital clock majumner, which should work. Oh, okay, no problem. PUBG? Yeah, Scrapman's all like, yo, let's play PUBG. See, right when I was talking about Fortnite, he knew. He was like, man, can't be talking about Fortnite. You gotta play PUBG. That's that's where it's at. Me and Scrapman play a lot of PUBG. It's good times. I gotta record Trailmakers anyway. Well, I guess Scrapman is recording Trailmakers. That's good to know. Okay, and then uh, this guy's gonna go here, and 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 then this guy's gonna digitally reset that, and then this guy's gonna reset that, and then this guy's gonna reset that, and then I'll read chat in two seconds. Sorry guys, I know I've been very neglectful of chat. Okay, that didn't, that didn't, there we go, now they're all on. And they all turn off, like, right away. Oh, that's because this has an and switch condition. Right, 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 right. I mean, there's- that's the- here's the digital version, right? And then this is- this is your output gate. So, like, if this is lit up, you're allowed to fly. Is really how this works. So, you see it's lit up. And if we turn this off... And actually, we can- we don't even need this condition here. Although we need a delay on those guys, right? Is that- I thought- I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time. It's like a one tick... One or two tick delay, I think. So I think this is how I did it digitally last time and then uh and then that way basically you have to be spinning fast enough for all the gates to be active or else it won't work i think so this one won't be on like i'm, pre I'm pretty sure this is how i did it last time so you can see it flickers it'll flicker it'll flicker and then eventually it'll get held on solid once you've hit high enough speed and it'll stay on permanently. See? And now it's permanent, and then if you turn that off, as it slows down, it'll it'll go off, flicker, flicker, flicker. 
and then eventually goes to nothing. Cool. That, that kind of works. That's pretty much pretty much what I want. Um, let's put the key there. Might not work with a single key. It might need two keys still. I don't think it can actually spin fast enough with a single key. You song understand the logic gates in Scrap Mechanic? You love Fortnite more than PUBG? How many hours do I have in Scrap Mechanic? Like 1500. Hey Bryce Anderson, welcome to the stream. Do I know Belgium? No, like I know the place. I've, I've never been there. Is that a new haircut? Yeah, I looked better before, honestly. Oh, that's okay. I've had long hair, I've had short hair. My hair was getting to the point where I had to constantly have, um, you know, bandanas. I had to wear a headband. Yeah, see, it needs two sensors to work, to work digitally. It's not gonna work with just a single one. Like a single sensing point. Almost does. Okay, so that's that's good. That works, and then we can just um, we can just do this. We can do that. Let's come on, spin up, spin up to speed. Come on, buddy. You can't do it now. Weird. One tick. One tick. One tick. You were you were working before. You just don't you just don't want to do it anymore. No, okay. It's cool. That's cool. Stop! 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 Spit. Thank you. Um. Okay. Oh, it's because I only have one here. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. One tick, two tick. Okay. So this should work now, right? And then we can move on and build stuff. See, that ramps on right away. So basically, this is the time you're trying to beat. Each of the four rotations has to beat this time. And if it does beat that time between sensor ticks, then this will stay on. And then as soon as it can't beat that time, it shuts that off, you see? But I don't like how it's still on at slow speeds. I don't know why it's still on at slow speeds. That's really bothering me, actually, because it shouldn't be. It should, like, almost... I mean, it works. I'm not going to complain. The other one doesn't do that. I'm trying to think... But the other one, I had an actual key pattern, and I had to play around with that pattern a lot to get it to work. See, now it's on. It's off. I mean, we could always fix that, too, by just, like, wiring this guy into that guy, right? Because if you wire this into this, then, like, it instantly... It's on, flickers, flickers... But then as soon as you turn it off, it just instantly shuts off, right? Eh. Eh, eh. Yeah, I don't have a way to send fan mail yet. I think what I will do... Because <coughs> I am moving... Um, streams for the next couple weeks are going to be tough because I am moving. I'm in the process of moving. I'll be like in my new place in less than a month. Which is awesome. Can't wait. Um, and I think when I get the new place, I think I might pay for a P.O. box so you guys can send me your fan mail if you want. Um, I think, I think we're gonna, I think I'm gonna leave this for now. Okay, now it doesn't even turn on at all. Okay. 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 Can we can we stop, please? Okay. Nope. Okay. Nope. Uh, why are you accelerating more? 
trying to trying to I think I think that'll get rid of the the problem. Okay. It needs to hold on, hold on. I think there's a I can't remember how I did this before. I I I well, I did it with a pattern, I guess, which is the way to do it. But I'm pretty sure if we increase this delay, that gives it, like, a ramp time before it'll actually... Yeah, there we go. And then if I let off, it bleeds pretty quick. Yeah, you know, we'll leave it like that for now, and then we'll just, that, that'll work. Okay, so, because I want to actually build the stinking helicopter. Um, which is, like, going to be struggling for space here, but that's okay. You know, we're good. We're good. Let's build, let's build a helicopter. Do I want to learn any other languages other than English? Yeah, I mean, I want to learn German because my family is German, like, way back in the heritage history stuff. Brent and I are going to take over the stream in a bit, Con. Okay. Are you now? Is that what you're going to say? You're going to take over the stream? I mean, this one this one works. Um, again, it is digital. And the problem is I can't get the pattern right. The uh, the black... Actually, hold on. I want to try one one more thing before I move on. Because there might be one way for me to fix the pattern really easily. Maybe. And I think this is the way to do it, but I'm not sure. This might this might just screw it over even worse because I need to make that pattern, which is like this. So I need it to go there and there. I think this might this might not work. Flickers once, flickers twice. Come on, pick up. Come on, you can do it. You're not gonna get it. No, it's not. It's not enough. Okay, hold on. I know. I know you guys are all like, "Well, what's he doing? He's just been playing around." This is like the problem with doing logic stuff. Yeah. No, I know. You can stop now. Okay. Uh, this one. That guy. So now that whole side is keyed. It's on. It's on. It's on. See, now it's up for no. Not up for good. Now see, it doesn't. It just doesn't work. It needs that full key pattern. I mean, the other one is a big U. It makes a big U, and the way it works is only one sensor is ever deactivated at a time. Three of them are always activated, and uh, like this. That would be how it goes. It would actually be more like that, with only literally one spot that's not active. But I think that's just going to trigger this so quickly. Yeah, like this, it doesn't even trigger off. You know, we're just going to go back to the way it was, and we're going to keep going with the build, because I want to build stuff. And then, you know, Brent and, and Blue are going to be all like, yo, we know what we're doing, and you don't, and that's okay. Alright, so let's just, let's just build this stupid helicopter. C can I, can, can you, oh my god, can we... Let me stop but what I didn't even hit you know what this is fine you're going on a controller for now okay uh, so like that and like that and like that and then like that and then we'll just have the two thrusters again 
right? So that's that's that. Okay. We're gonna do. We're gonna do that. Okay. Of course. Don't have a. Of course. No, it's fine. It's Yeah, so it eventually gets there. I mean, it, I, I would love to make the pattern proper so it doesn't trigger right in the very beginning, but um, that's pretty easy. And then we'll just have this all linked in to this as well. So if it's not active, you can't do anything. All right, so let's build a helicopter now that actually looks like something. And then if uh, Brent Batch and Blue come up with something cool, then maybe after the stream I'll just rip off what they do, claim it as my own, and just take all the credit in the workshop, right? Get merch. Yes, sir. I will work on that. Again, um, I have thought about merch. It's one of those things I, I do plan on doing. Um, I do want to move into my new house first, though. I'm kind of That's kind of my priority right now, is just move to the new house. Uh, and then worry about real life stuff after that. That's sort of where my, my brain is at. Um, I kind of want to make this like a, a normal-ish looking helicopter. I don't really know what that is. Um, just have a tail come out and come up here. And then... Um, like something like that. And then put a little tail rotor on it. Give or take. Right? Something like something like that. Maybe. Kind of. And then uh Fish Copter. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be fine, guys. It's gonna be fine. Just a little little mini mini maybe this needs to be longer. Mini helicopter. Right? And then uh, we'll get some get some sloped sloped pieces. Okay, and then we'll do this. And then like this. Look at that. That looks amazing. That looks so good. I mean, I deserve an award for how good that looks. No one no one can even mess with how good my helicopter looks. And then we need like some sloped stuff in the front. And like a little bit of a glass piece right there. And then we'll put some thrusters in it. Um... I don't even know how we're going to fit thrusters in this thing. We're going to need thrusters to go up and then thrusters to go left and right. Oh my god. We're not how are we going to even fit all this stuff? You know what? We're going to we'll figure it out. It's fine. It'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I keep telling myself this. I'm not telling you guys this because honestly, like, I mean, you guys don't care if the build's fine or not, right? Like, if the if I completely screw up, that's better for everybody, right? But uh, I got to tell myself this because otherwise, I'm I'm really worried. That looks that looks great. That looks that looks fantastic. Helicopter done. Excellent. Moving on. Okay. Um. God, if I make this only three wide, I'm not gonna have any space. It's gotta be five wide. It's gotta be, it's gotta be wider. That's the way this is gonna have to go. Like this. Which means that's now in the way. It's okay, we'll disconnect that. We'll just build this for now. And then we'll just rewire it up. It's not that big a deal. Uh, really wasn't that much wired up to it. Um... This will be the engine for the back blade. Which will just um, activate on this guy as well, I guess. I heard a cat. You heard a cat? Um, okay. I don't know if the cat's making noise. Making an Apache. Oh, I was going to make it just more like a civilian. Like little terrible civilian helicopter. Because that's sort of where I'm, where I'm at. In my thinking process today. Hi. Oh, here's a cat. Hello, cat. <laughs> She's scared of yelled in her ear. Oh, boy. Come here. Okay, you want to stream? Okay, what you gonna do? You gonna build something?
Oh, is the other cat joining in the party now? Oh, hello. Are you? Come here. Come sit. Oh boy. On the fence with this. No, she's not a big fan of the hole. No, you're gonna go. You're gonna buy. Bye. Yeah, she's not a fan. Yeah. Multiple cats. We have multiple cats. Yes, I have I have two cats. How will be able to fly? Do I have modded thrusters? Yeah, I'm using the the little one by one thrusters. It's it's fine. So we gotta we gotta make this thing fly now. Yeah, I guess I should probably prioritize making it fly before I worry too much about what it looks like. It's now very fat. It is a very fat helicopter. It is short and fat. Oi, Brent says. For after stream. Thingy. Downloading thingy. Okay, let's see what Brent Batch's thing looks like. Yeah, so it gets to a certain level, and then that measures, like, the level, and then when I turn it off, does it... Does it go back? Oh yeah, okay. That's cool. And then if you turn it back on... So it's kind of, it's kind of like a speedometer. But you had to blueprint edit these controllers. What is with this glass barrier? Do you see that? Do you guys see that? Did you like put like some weird invisible glass around these controllers? That I can't touch? Is that... Is that a thing? That's cool, that makes sense. Then you just have like a minimum sensor point. So if the sensor's above a certain point, then you can turn it off. That's cool. That's actually really cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna rip that off later. And use that for stuff. And then yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make this bigger. This is a good song, by the way. This is like one of my favorite tunes on uh, NCS. I made that too tall. Okay, that looks better. Now we gotta make this thing fly. Okay, so that'll make it go up. And, uh... This will make it roll. Left and right. So I can use those for roll. Check. Gonna crank these down to, like, nothing. Notice me, please. What's up, NetVector17? 
how's it going? You put copyright? Oh, did you copyright this, friend? Did you, did you copyright it? Did you copyright it? Check it out, check it out. I've painted it a different color. Now, no one will be able to tell if it's the original. They'll have no idea. Look at this, look at this. I could even re-upload this. And I could be like, Brent copied me, save, look at that. And now no one will know. They'll just, they'll just assume. So look at that. That's, that's called How to Be a YouTuber 101. I don't know how I want to do these skids. I really don't. I really don't. I think I want to do this. And just like that. And then like that. Yeah, something like that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Screw it. We're just gonna do it that way. And then we're gonna go like this. And like this. And then like this. And like this. See, now everyone's just gonna believe that Brent copied me. It's not a good tune too, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna turn that down a little bit. See, I really want wide. Do I want them that wide? Uh, uh, it looks too wide, doesn't it? It's too wide. This is me and my terrible aesthetics, guys. And we also need more controls too, more thrusters. So, okay, we got up thrusters, we got pitch thrusters. I think I want like one forward thruster maybe, or do I just want it to be a pitch chopper? Nah, you know what, we're gonna fly it by tipping it, because that would be more aggressive. Those will be pitch. Something like that. Okay, so we're, just, we're gonna paint some of these just so it's easier to tell. So these are control thrusters, those are control thrusters, these are control thrusters, those are control. So we got pitch roll. Uh, we need yaw. And then we need um, up down stuff. So that'll be like that. That's up. And then like that can be down. Uh, it's, it's a useless color to paint. Let's paint those pink. And then, uh, uh, yeah. This looks like really small. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about... I feel like the tail needs to be fat. Like, fatter. It's not, it's not fat enough. Maybe. Not, not really, not really sure. There's like, wouldn't it be nice if there was like one and a half blocks? That would just be, it would just be magical. The good old one and a half block. Anyways, doesn't really matter. All right, let's worry about that later. Um, we got priorities, guys. Priorities. The tail doesn't look long enough. Yeah, I know, right? It looks kind of like a stub chopper. All right, we'll, we'll worry about the tail later. Let's just leave it like that for now, and then we'll... That looks worse. All right, it's fine. Let's make this thing fly first. Okay, um...
Okay, no, that that looks that looks this looks fine. This looks fine. Okay, that, that's looking that's looking a little bit better. I think maybe sort of kind of almost like whatever, whatever. You guys are all gonna be like, yo, Khan can't build anything that looks good, and I'm gonna be all like, yo, you're right. Subscribe anyways for those terrible looking things. See, that looks that looks way too small. It needs to be like double width. Double width. That looks better. A little bit. Kind of. Maybe. Sort of. Whatever. Okay, um, what else controls am I missing? Yaw, right? Yaw. So that's like this. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to wire up. It'd be sick to put yaw in the, in the tail. That'd be like really cool. There's polygons half blocks? Really? Really now? Oh, 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 we could do something like this. Oh, we could do this. This would look good. This would actually look decent. If I could do it right, I can't do it because I suck at placing life. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at, look at this. Look, look, would you just look at that? Oh my goodness. Oh my good! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh boy! Oh! Oh my God! Oh, it looks so so good. It's so much better than it than it ever could have been. Oh! Oh my God! Oh, look at look at that! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can can? Is there a rotation? Holy cow! This is amazing. This is the coolest thing ever. Look at how cool that tail section looks! Okay, we're done. All right, that's it. All right, let's let's do the rest now. Haven't even made it fly yet, and it's like, I think that looks great. That looks great. That looks that looks great. Con.exe has stopped working. Pretty much. That's where we're at. Okay, we need glass. We need to taper this down. Guys, I'm no Moombo, okay? I don't I don't make aesthetic stuff like ever. So, like, for me to make anything that looks like anything is just a miracle. It's It really is. Okay. And then we'll fill in these corner areas. Oh, this is looking... This is looking magical! Alright, this is, this is good. Uh... I like... I like very much. Okay, now there's like two by one majumners. One by two wedge four one? I don't know what that means. I don't think that's what I want though. Where's the other one? I need the... This is why I don't like mods. There's so many parts. I need this guy. One by two wedge three one and one by one wedge three one, right? Can we... Can we... Aha! Aha! See, I got it! Good. Good. Okay, and then this one. This is kind of like Space Engineers. Space Engineers has these same kind of blocks, so I'm kind of used to building with the Space Engineers version of these blocks. Which isn't too bad. But, like, when you get into all, like, the other rounded stuff as well, I don't, I don't understand any of that. That actually doesn't look half bad. It looks kind of chody. A little bit, a little bit bulky. 
Uh, but uh, you know what? It's okay. It's um, it's gonna be a flying brick. It's fine. Uh, I need that block again. Where is it? This one. This doesn't mean I'm starting to build all my creations with mods, guys. The only reason I use mods for the RC stuff is because um, the RC stuff needs to be small. And really, it's just for the modded thrusters. Because, like, you wouldn't be able to put... Can I honestly not place that where I need to place it? Thank thanks, thanks, game. It's just really for the modded thrusters. Because you need, you need small thrusters, otherwise you can't do anything. RC. It's really difficult with full-size thrusters. Super chat, 50 Swedish crones, I believe. Hi again, last donation for me. Have you tried any of the Zaktronics games? Um, especially if you have a background in comp site. Well, I have a background in mechanical engineering. That's my original background, but I, uh, I spent a lot of time programming robots for jobs and then programming real life stuff. So that's sort of why I have the programming experience. These rotors need to be a lot bigger now, that's for sure. They're too small. One, two, three. Uh, like that. Um, but yeah, I, I, the, the Infinite Factory is, is the one Zachtronics game that I've been playing. I think, I think that's the, the guy who made it, right? Zachtronics made Infinite Factory? Someone could correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, that, I've been playing that, and, uh, once I'm done Infinite Factory, I'm gonna check out his other games as well, because I really am enjoying Infinite Factory. I'm having a good time playing it, and, uh, if he's got other games that are similar to that, then I will probably play them as well. That looks pretty good, if I say so myself. All right, I'm gonna put some stuff on this. I don't know how I feel about that. That front end makes me wanna, makes me wanna barf. Not gonna lie. I still need yaw controls too, and we still need to actually wire this up to do stuff. Right now, it's 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 not gonna do anything. Yaw controls would be good. Some landing skids would be great. All right, let's just, you know what? Let's just do all this stuff. Okay, landing skids, that's easy to do. But yeah, I've been enjoying, I've been enjoying Infinite Factory. It seems like you guys enjoy watching me play it, even though a lot of people comment and go, man, you suck. Here's all the things you're doing wrong that you should be doing better. And then I kind of laugh, because I'm just like, yeah, you know what, you're kind of right, because I have no idea what I'm doing in that game, but it's okay. I don't, I don't like that. That looks stupid. That looks, that looks stupid. Looks really stupid, man. Thanks. Thanks, helicopter. That's, because now if we put, like, if we have to put another, this is, this is the idea. This is going to look really stupid. See how stupid this is going to look? I mean, maybe it won't look as stupid as I think it- I still think it's gonna look stupid. Maybe? Really stupid? Really- is that- I mean, it's not- it's not super- what do you- it, it, it just- I mean, it's not- it's not bad. It's still a little bit bulky. A little stupid. Eh, you know, it's not bad. We'll leave it. It's it's remote control, guys. It's not supposed to look great, right? I mean, well, it probably should. I don't know. Yes, no, maybe. Frame drop. Isn't all stupid? You just learned how to use stabilizers. That's great. <clears throat> you don't suck, you zuck. That's awesome. Back heavy. Doesn't look that stupid. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's probably because it doesn't have any walls on it yet. We'll get there. All right, let's do some more some more features. Um, da -da 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 -ba -ba. Where's the one by three guy? I don't know how Moombo does it, man. When he's got like fifty mods active, I just I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you can look at the screen and and know where anything is. I would spend three quarters of the stream just trying to find the parts I want. Kind of, kind of want to, kind of want to do that. Kind of want to do that. 
Is there a 2x1 adapter Majumner guy? Like this, but 2x1? Oh, there is. That's this guy. This is cool. This is... This is... Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks better than what it did. And then this needs to come forward. To match that side. Right? And then like, like that. And then this could be like that. And then we can put some glass down and it'll look magical. And then we gotta make the whole thing fly, which is gonna be another problem. Okay, uh... Yeah. Oops, 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 there we go. Yeah, that looks, that looks cool-ish. Kind of something, I don't know, whatever, we'll figure it out. Okay, I need yaw, I still need yaw controls, my goodness. Uh, we're gonna be screwed without yaw. That's yaw. I'll paint these guys purple. Okay, and then, uh, we need another yaw set on the front. So you guys are probably wondering why I use four thrusters for each control. It's because you create a neutral point. So if I push on two sides with thrusters, then the center point becomes the pivot and it just spins about the center and it won't create a force. Whereas if I only push here, you're going to slide sideways before you turn. You know what I mean? You don't sit in remote control vehicles. Yeah. Who knew you can make a helicopter out of duct tape? Lag. If you got lag, try refreshing the stream. I'm not, I'm, I'm watching too, so I don't, I don't really like. Extend the landing stuff one more forward. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. That would look fine, I think. Like that. Yeah, that looks better. You're right. Okay, so we need glass on this thing, but I don't really know how to do that. Uh, we're gonna do this. I kind of wanna. I kind of wanna drop that down. Super chat. Eat me, or I will eat you. Taste in Swedish equals smack. I'm so confused. Thank you for your two, uh, two, 20 Swedish Krone donation. My goodness, I'm so bad at this. Is it actually called... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up what this is. S-E-K. What is it? S-E-K. Swiss. Sw Swiss. What the... Wait, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Schweizer... Uh, oh, Swedish Krona. Okay, they call it S... Swedish Krona is the easiest way to pronounce it. Okay. It's, they got some weird full out name for it. I don't understand. Glass. Yeah, this. See, this needs to move back now because I want the glass like here. This actually doesn't look half bad. I'm going to say half bad because someone could go, no, it looks full bad. It looks so terrible. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, guys, to be perfectly honest. Alright, let's, uh, let's build some more stuff. Okay, we're just going to uh, do this. Yeah, uh-huh, mm-hmm, 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 mm
cool. See, that looks, that looks, like, kind of cool. And it's kind of like a nose piece. And then, uh, it needs to, like, taper up more. That looks kind of coolish. And then somehow we'll meet this to that. Um, yeah, but you know what? For now, let's let's make this stupid thing fly because that's gonna be a problem. So we're gonna need to take this, and we're gonna need to put the extending the guy on it, and then we'll put the bearing on it. Sure. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but we'll plate that black. And then we need to weld this guy to that guy somewhere. Where can I weld it that's not too... I guess on the side. Just lift that up. I mean, the rotor is going to kind of cut you off when you take off for the first time, but that's okay. There we go. So... <clears throat> That's, uh, that's all one piece now, and then we can save this as, uh, RC Helicopter. Seriously, though, I am probably gonna change it to use Brent Batch's cool little, um, thingy. Because it's, it's much more, um, compact than the digital version. I can fit it in a lot smaller area. And, uh, it seems to be a bit more reliable. But anyways, alright, so let's, uh, let's do some stuff, shall we? Let's hook some stuff up. So this is my that guy this hooks up to here like that and then um, left right why do I have those backwards honestly I don't understand why I have those backwards but anyways uh, let's just you know what? let's just flip that left right there we go okay so left is gonna be is that that's pushing that way so left is that one and this one and right is that one and that one okay so those are yaw controls left right what I honestly hooked that up wrong are you serious are you serious right now right okay so left right should work left right okay and then uh pitch forward is that one and that one do i have those reversed too really i'm you know i'm just flipping this whole thing i don't care pitch forward is that and back is that so pitch forward is going to be tilt down in the front and up in the back and pitch down is going to be up down in the back and up in the front so those are pitch controls. So that should do that. I think we are good to go there. Hold on, I'm just trying to change this song because it's like meh. Call me Blue Banana. There are two blues here. Yeah, that's a good point. The one you saved doesn't have connections. Wait, what? What do you mean the one I saved doesn't have connections? You mean like I'm not connected... No, that's fine. I'll, I'll save it again. I guess, I guess, yeah, that's a good point. I should just save it twice. Um, okay, this, those connect to there. Uh, sensors are arbitrary. It shouldn't matter. Because it needs all four of them anyways. Okay, and then, uh, that one. Okay, so that's all that. And then, if this is activated then it can activate these guys to fly up. That's the idea. Okay. And then we need roll controls. An on switch. We're going to have an on switch, which is this guy. And that'll be one. And then roll controls will be two and three. And that'll be these two. So two is roll left, which is down on the left side and up on the right side. And three is this way, which is this and that. Okay. And then we need a button for up and down, which can be four and five. 
So four can go up, which will be this one, and five can go down, which will be that one. And then those guys will just put on put on slow. So the idea being the thrust from these two blue ones, which I might need to adjust, will keep you buoyant and then like neutrally buoyant, and then up and down will allow you to move. RC Heli. Should I save this? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna have probably a couple of them. Okay, so let's let's try this and see what happens. Oh boy, uh okay. Well, it works. I mean, it flies. It definitely, it definitely flies. We've got too much up thrust. Is the issue? A little bit, a little bit too much. A little bit too aggressive on the up thrust. So we're gonna just uh, cut those down to like nothing, and uh, we'll try this again. Okay, so that's good. Uh, four. Okay, so we can almost, we can almost go up. What, what just happened? Just, just, can I, I can put this on the lift, right? It doesn't break all the connections? Yeah, no, that one doesn't. Okay. Are you uh, up to speed yet? Oh, it does. It breaks the connections to the sensors. Weird. Okay. I, that's weird that it only breaks those connections. But it doesn't break all the other ones. Huh. <coughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, so we have to increase this guy up to there and then this one to there okay so all the all the roll controls and stuff we can pretty much seal that off because we don't we don't need any of those right uh do we yeah because we're gonna need access to some of that stuff and probably probably access to that guy actually you know what we're gonna need access to to this guy too. Okay, so hold up. We'll put that down. To be another downward thrust, downward thrust, up thrust, up thrust, and we'll make these purple or pink again. Um, four. Oh, I should have these going to an or gate, shouldn't I? That would be smart. Okay, so let's go like this. Then I'll take a look at I'll take a look at chat in two seconds, guys. Sorry, I just wanna I wanna get this um, at least moving. I wanna get it at least like floating. That would be that would be great. Four, five. Okay, so four goes to up one and up two, and five goes to down one and down two. Right? Good. Yes. No. Stream is 11 out of 10 quality. Awesome. Too much logic? Yeah, sorry guys. It's always it's always the way it thought it works. It, it's, um, it always starts with just a little bit of logic, and then it always turns into way too much logic, and then it ends up being a why am I still building stuff with logic kind of stream. Um, interesting. 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 I kind of want to do that to taper the front section. What if, what if, like, see the window needs to be tapered though. Is there, there's not sloped glass. I'd need the polygon glass mod pack, right? That's, that's the rule of thumb. You want sloped glass, you need to get the polygon mod pack. Is that... Is that the thing? Because if I want to put, like, sloped glass there... There's no sloped glass in this in this pack, right? Are we, are we right about that? Okay. 
Too much logic is not good. It's not logical. Yeah, there's a glass mod pack, but like you can't... I can't just put in ran... Oh, angled. What is this stuff? Angled windshield angled right side. What is this? Can we can we do something with it? Oh boy, that is large. Okay, we are not We are not using that Like I think I think I'm stuck Windshield block edge corner windshield block windshield block corner. What is this? Well, that's that's cool. That's so small. I'd want that like up here. See, that would need to be like there. I'm not gonna get away from not having the like the polygon glass mod is the only way to do that, right? I don't. I don't really wanna. But see, that would look so cool. But then I'd have to change this taper, and I don't like changing that because I think that looks cool. Uh. Do I spawn another mod, or do I just say, screw it? See, that looks wicked. That is cool looking glass. And then like, could do stuff like this? No, it needs to go out more, but do they even have the inner piece? Does the, is that the fill corner, right? That's probably the inner piece. Man. Can I like, like that? And then like, what is this? What is, is this, do it, what, what, does that? Yeah, see? Oh man, that looks, that looks cool. And then I'd have to do like up this way. Yeah, you know, we're changing the design of this. I don't care. It's because this, this looks cool. Can I... See, that looks that looks neat. And then... We gotta go up, up. And then just... Yeah, there's a taper piece. There's uh, this piece, this piece. Alright. Can I... Yeah, and then we'll just change this. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be cool. Just make this more blunt nosed, <laughs> and uh, and then that'll be good. <laughs> See, I that looks okay. You know what, that'll be fine. And then we'll, uh, do this. Yeah. That looks pretty cool, okay? I think that looks great. I don't care what you guys say. It's gonna be good. This looks fantastic. Look at that. That is that is slick. That is a slick looking helicopter. Probably the best looking creation I've ever made scrap mechanic, to be perfectly honest. Leave that open so we can get access to this stuff for now. Uh, we'll just, you know, we'll just even the weight out. We'll put two openings on this side and, and we'll put two on this side. Adding a couple extra blocks shouldn't kill us. Okay, that's, that's like legit, guys. This is legit. I am, I am excited about how good this looks. Legitimately. That looks pretty cool. Actually, that doesn't look half bad. Okay, cool. That's my that's my chopper now. 
Is there a, is that a hole in the glass corner? Really? You know, I don't even care. You can't even notice it. It's fine. All right, cool. That'll look sick once we paint it too. And then we just need to actually do stuff to make it fly. The fault that you're talking about is well, okay. You guys are talking about DNA and stuff. <clears throat> You know, like, our DNA is 97% chimpanzee DNA? Yeah, I know it looks chubby, okay? It's a fat helicopter. It needs to go on a diet. It needs to lose some weight, okay? Um, it'll, it'll lose some weight. It's fine. But you know what? It doesn't look any worse than my chubby cargo plane, okay? Like, look. Look at this. This, this looks equally as chubby. They look like they were almost built by the same manufacturer. See, look at that looks chubby. This looks chubby. They have the same chubby appearance. It's fine. No one will notice. It's okay to be chubby. It's not a good song, by the way. Um, so I think I think we can test it. Like we gotta get it to fly now. That's the that's the next few tasks. Okay. Well it definitely it definitely goes up. So we need, it needs a lot of weight balancing, I think is the problem right now. So it needs, it needs weight, a lot of weight. It's not heavy enough. So we're gonna take this super heavy block from the polygon pack and we're just gonna put one here right in the middle and hopefully that'll add some significant weight to it and then we'll t save this again oh did i miss a sponsor did i did i actually miss one no weird okay still just showing up on my screen that's that's weird i don't know why i saw that okay um so I think like Oh, that's because this one's super powered. That's the problem. That one that one's cranked up way too high. They need to be on like minimal. And that one too. Yeah, now I can't do anything. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that barely wants to lift off there. Okay, so roll left works, roll right works. Pitch forward. Oh no, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my no, it's It's great. This is this is great. <clears throat> this is gonna be really difficult to balance properly okay so this needs to go up that needs to go up they probably both need to go up more and then this needs to come down that needs to come down to like nothing okay the problem is that rotation on the top is going to be what we have to counteract, so we're going to need weight to do that. That is going to be the issue. Okay, 
It's not bad. Four goes up. See, it tilts slightly to the left. We need more weight on it. Okay, uh, control. Right, right, no, this way, this way. Tilt, four, four, four. Get back here. Get back here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're just going to leave that one there for now. We're just going to... Okay, so it needs more weight in the front. So that's the thing. RC Heli. Okay, so we need more weight in the front. Uh, can we put more weight in the front easily? Like, maybe right there. And then uh, we should be good that regard. I might need to actually put two rotors on it and have them counter-rotate, but we'll see. Um, hopefully I can do it with one. Alright. Okay, um... Can I, can I go up? Can I go... Oh, that's pretty good. That's really stable. Okay, that's good. Up works. What's my stability level looking like? Okay, roll is not good. Roll tips us back. Okay, no, that's, that's great. That's, 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 that's nice. Uh-huh. Okay, I gotta, I gotta think about this. Roll tips us back. <coughs> because the tail is probably heavier... And there's not enough roll controls balancing the tail weight out. Is probably where that's at. Let's try this again. One goes on. Okay, we've got speed. So now we can go up. Up. Tilt forward. Okay, so we're flying. That's good. That's good. Okay, so can we turn around? Can we turn... Oh god, 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 oh god. This is significantly harder to fly than the cargo plane. Like, significantly. Alright, let's just, um, let's just go over there real quick and, uh, just get rid of that excess of helicopters. Oh, there's a plane here too? Okay. The problem is that the, the spinning rotation on the top is going to be... You have to counteract all that force. Because with the plane props, they spin too, but they're so small that they don't do anything. Yeah, you're useless. You're equally useless. Let's get in this terrible multiplayer truck. I mean, this is a 15-minute truck, though, so it's like, whatever. Alright. Oh, look, it landed! That's amazing. Okay, we're gonna... We're just gonna grab you here. Delete you. Okay. And, uh, and then I think we're just gonna... Back up, do some more stuff. Do you want it to make a vanilla car... To drive around in once? Wait, what? I, well, this is, uh, like a vanilla car for... Um... Multiplayer Monday. I don't remember what we did. Some race or something? Okay, uh, there was another chopper here, wasn't there? Yeah, it's over there. See, the problem we've got right now is no matter what control I activate, the rotation of the rotor on top is gonna really hurt it. And that's why you see it's easier to do a coax helicopter where one rotor spins one way and the other rotor spins the other way. Because then no matter what, they're, um... They're always just, um... Look, I have a three RC helicopters already. They, um... They counteract all the forces, right? So you don't have to worry about one spinning you too hard one way versus the other way. Well, let's try this again real quick. Oh, no. Let's try this. Let's try this again. So one turns on. So that's, that's good. Okay. And we need an indicator light for sure. Four goes up. Pretty much straight. Like, there's no issues with that. Five goes down pretty much straight. And it's pretty, like, it, it ever so slightly falls down, but I'm not really worried about that. 
But see, when you tip forward, it rolls because of the rotation of that. See that? Might need to make it a coax. Coaxial helicopter. I'm the best scrap mechanic YouTuber. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, the YouTube servers have been bad, guys. The last couple days, or couple weeks, they've been really bad for lag. I don't know what it is. I've been watching videos, and I have great internet, and I've been watching videos, and all of a sudden, like, it'll lag and stop halfway through the video for no reason. Okay, let's try this again. Up. See, that's great. And left and right are still pretty good. Not really too many issues. A little bit of instability, not that bad. Roll, whoops, wrong button. Turn that back on again. Oh, no, 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 no. See, it's the roll controls that suck. And the pitch controls. Roll and pitch. Yaw is okay. But hold on, we'll get this done. Ugh. Okay, up, up. That's that's sweet. That's awesome. And it'll kind of float back down to. You know, it's just it's just really hard to fly. I might I might have to work on that later. I'm not really sure yet. But you know what? For now, we're gonna paint it, and uh, and then we'll call it a day. Cause uh, how long have we been streaming here for? Like an hour and a half, almost two hours now. So we're gonna we're gonna just you know we're gonna paint it. I'll work on fine tuning the controls a bit later. It does work. It's terrible, terribly difficult to fly. I think what I need to do is uh, increase the weight of it and maybe put a second rotor on top. You know what, let's just try putting a second rotor on top that counterspins and seeing if that helps anything. Because we might as well we might as well try that while we're here. Although I don't know if it is going to help. Can I, oh, I can't, I can't put that there. Okay. See if this does anything. Nope. Nope. There we go. And then we'll paint it. Call it a day. And uh, that's got to be metal. I don't. I don't think this is gonna make too much of a difference. It might help a lot, though. We'll see. Who knows? <coughs> and then we'll do that, and do that, and do that, and do that. It shouldn't interfere with anything else too much, um, and it is a free flit, a free floating bearing on a free floating bearing, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So we'll go like this, like this. What are these thrusters set to? One tick. And we'll just try this. I don't know if this is going to make a difference. I did make a, a long time ago in university, I made a coax helicopter for a, a project. Now, the cool thing about this is if you made an actual coax helicopter like this, we wouldn't need that tail rotor. Because that tail rotor, the whole point of it is to counteract the rotation on the uh, on the helicopter. And you'd only need a tail rotor for a coax if you want to turn left and right. But even then, you don't really need it because you can just adjust the torque of the two rotors. So if you speed up the one and slow down the other, it will rotate you in whatever direction you want. Which would be a really cool project to try in Scrap Mechanic to see if you could actually make a coax helicopter, but I don't know if you could. We'll save this for now. Probably just delete it after. Who knows? We'll try it. Maybe this will work better. Oh yeah, instantly better. 100%. That makes all the controls, like, I, I still suck at flying, but, like, it, it balances out all the forces. So, I think that's what we're going to have to do. 
is keep it like that. And I mean, we can keep the tail rotor on the back for show, but again, you don't really need it. But that's how we're going to do it. So I think we'll just paint it, call it a day, and uh, we'll do some other stuff later once I actually go to finalize this. I'll, uh, I'll have to finalize this some point in time. So uh, I think for this one, I really want to make it white. I think it would look cool in white. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to paint it white. <coughs> As my uh, my voice is starting to go, you can I can hear it, I can feel it too. Where I'm starting to lose my uh, my voice just from talking this whole time. Can I can I can I just can I can just grab? Oh my god, I can't really. You know what? Let's do it like this. It's fine. But yeah, I am I am definitely starting to lose my voice. I'm not at the point yet where I can talk for two hours straight and uh, and still be okay. But it's okay. All right, we'll get that. Get that. Paint it white, you know, with like a purple base, maybe? Like a nice purple bottom. I'm, I'm digging the white and purple theme. I think it's a cool color scheme. Alright, something like that. Paint the tail rotor like black, even though we don't need it. I went to an air show once and there was a coaxial helicopter. Yeah, helis are loud. Like, super loud. Um, I mean, so are jet turbines, too, but... The cool thing I like about coax helicopters, if, if you see them in real life, like the one we made in university, so we made one um, and it had like a carbon fiber shell on it, and it was basically designed to fly um, into stuff without getting damaged. So you could fly it right into a wall and the carbon fiber shell that we put around it would prevent it from getting damaged on the wall. But the coolest thing about it was the fact that... Um, <coughs> uh, losing my voice, holy cow. The coolest thing about it was the fact that you didn't need a, um, you didn't need a tail at all. Like, there's no tail on it. The one we built just literally, um, the tail, we just cut the tail right off. So it didn't even have a tail. It just, it was like literally taking this helicopter and just chopping it right, right here. And it was just like a bulb with all the stuff above it. It was great. It flew great. Because you don't, you don't need it. The, the, you can control the torques that you're putting to each of the motors, and if you have... Um, one motor spinning faster than the other, then the helicopter changes which rotation it's at. It's really cool science, actually. So this stuff's all gonna be, uh, gray, dark gray, because the black is the sensor color. We'll just do this. Put red tips on it, because that'll look cool. That looks sweet. I like that. I like that a lot. I think it looks cool. Uh, landing skids will make them black. And then the tail rotor we can make uh, the same kind of gray with a black tip. Like that. Cool. Cool. And then we'll do the purple bottom. And, uh, and call this a day. Something like that. I don't know. Da cool, 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 cool. I think that looks cool. I, I'm a I'm a big fan of that. I'm gonna call that RC Heli. RC Heli. And then uh, we'll try flying it again. It should, it should be easy enough to fly now. But anyways, guys, make sure you hit that like button. You know, let me know what you think, of course, in the comments when this video's up. Uh, I just noticed my stream lagging too, so that's great. <coughs> it's, uh, it's awesome that YouTube is just dying today for some reason, but... Make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. Let me know what you think. And of course, uh, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Check out the Discord. I've always got the Discord. Look at this. This is great now. 
Perfect. Pitch forward. There we go. Now we can actually fly a little bit better. Aha! See? See, it's so much easier to fly when it doesn't have that extra force going the one way. It still needs a little bit of work. I think the roll controls need to move a little bit. It looks a little tall with that rotor, too. There it goes. I can't, I can't see you anymore. There you are. Okay. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Loop back. This is great. This is really, really cool. I'm a big fan of it. Now all the scrap mechanic needs is cameras. They just need the devs just need to add in cameras so we can actually have cameras mounted on stuff and it would be so much better. All right, we gotta, we're going to come back here. Come on, back over. No, back over here. Back over here. Come on. This way. This this way. No, this way. Okay. This is I'm terrible at flying. Anyways, guys, make sure you hit those buttons. Check out the Discord. I'm always, uh, you know, I'm going to try to be a little bit more active in the Discord now that I'm no longer dying. Um, but, you know, make sure you hit those buttons and uh, let me know, of course, what you think. I, uh, I'm still working on, I know, the Logic Challenge. A lot of people have been asked about that. As well, I'm going to bring back some Stationeers. Been, uh, been playing some Stationeers. I'm really happy with Stationeers. I really like Stationeers. It's a lot of fun. It's a good game. And uh, I think you guys really enjoy it, too. So I am going to bring that back. And, uh, you know, the devs updated the game, and that's why, uh, and then they added some hunger mechanics, which is why I had to completely rebuild my moon base, but it's better now. It's moon base 2.0, and we're going to work on setting a greenhouse up in the next episode, which I think is going to be pretty awesome. So, make sure you guys hit those buttons, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm going to, of course, steal Brett Batch's uh, awesome speedometer thingy and use that at some point in time, but, uh, you know... We'll, we'll do that eventually, but uh, yeah, make sure you guys hit those buttons and uh, check out all the stuff and uh, check out my videos. And uh, thank you again for everyone who did the super chats. Thank you guys for the sponsorships. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.